Okay. Uh, spoiler ish free. Why is it done now? Uh, don't know. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I'll try and be spoiler free about. I'm gonna be um, Spider Man. As because I know you've not seen it. Um. But overall, was it good or bad? It was not very good. Okay. It was only slightly better than Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. It was a five out of ten. Hmm. Which is an abysmal step down, given how good the first one was. The first one was. It was. Uh, it was quite cheeky. I, I mean, we rewatched the just by going to see it. We rewatched um, Spider Man again, like the original Spider Verse, because it's so good. Why not? I'm gonna go on that because it looks swaggy. That was kind of a mid range. Kind of balls handling, but we'll. Uh, Cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, yeah, this one. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Um, Grumble Volcano, I despise, so we'll see how that goes. TikTok Clock. TikTok Clock, I really like. I think it's a great course. Uh, TikTok Clock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's. Um, I right, give me give me what you like about I'll, it. Give me what you don't like about it. I like about it. It's it's more of the same characters who I love from Spider Verse. So more Miles, more Peter B. Parker. And more Gwen. I like Gwen. It's like, without the controversy surrounding her. What controversy? So, I mean, you can read this in the news. And it's impossible to see in the movie, but there's a Protect Trans Kids poster in a room. Okay. And there's sort of a, a theory circling that Gwen might be trans herself. Right. But, I, I mean... Which, uh, either way... I'm all for the... Po she could just have a poster on her wall and... Yeah, great, I agree. Yeah, cool, let's do that. She never was trans and why are they sort of... Pushing, I, I don't pushing know, her I, to be trans? Yeah, I think that's a little bit... Why don't she just have a trans best friend? I, I, I'm, I, just, I, I just don't like when they change... When they change stuff like that because it feels sort of look what we did. Is all. It, it, yes, but, but have, 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 she can have that poster or... Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, in there, you I don't, mean, that's, you, that's, honestly, that's cool. I've no you would not see it that. if you didn't know it was there. The poster's uh, like white on a white wall. Yeah, I, I don't. People have pointed out that our colours are sort of reflective of like the trans um, rainbow or whatever, like our spider suit costume. Yeah. If, again, debate me if you will. I, I have no idea if that's entirely true or not. Um, Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. But aye, so, so there's that, that's, again, you asked me for the positive. So aye, the po <laughs> positive is um, the same characters are there. Those three are there. Um, and that's kind of it, unfortunately, for good, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, is the animation still good? The animation's still good. So yeah, I'll say it's good, but what really annoyed me about the animation at certain points is... It's just so, like... Like, the, the original movie maintained colour schemes and mm -hmm. then used different colour and different sort of styles for a purpose. So, like, when his spider sense is going off. Yeah. And things like that. For this, it's like... It's a scene of Gwen talking to her dad and it's just, like... It just keeps changing colour. And I'm like, this is just during really... During the scene? Yeah, dr during the scene. I'm like, this is just distracting. There was no need for this scene to be constantly changing colour while she's having an emotional moment with Mr. Stacy. And they rewrote like Gwen's story with Peter B. Not Peter B. Parker. Her Peter Parker. Because mm -hmm. I went back and watched the original Spider-Verse and they were trying to make out like he was the lizard. Um, and she had to kill him. And she right. did it by accident. But when you watch Spider-Verse, it's like, that's clearly not what happened. Uh -huh. He clearly died. And it looks like he died from maybe the lizard killing him okay. maybe you could argue that oh well that's that was like an, a symbolism interpretation thing and but they, they do like a whole run through of like how he died yeah. like a whole flashback and I was like oh, that, there was no need for that so this movie similar to like Transformers is like too long for a start it's well into like the two and a bit hours sort of realm and given that it's a two part movie I was like I didn't need to be this long um, there isn't enough plot to carry this movie uh, and the plot that is there isn't very good and doesn't make sense if you spend more than 10 seconds thinking about it. Um, oh my god! 
Oh my god, this guy's terrible. This guy's one of the worst characters I've ever played as. And don't just say it's me. Um, ah, he is quite shy. Um, yeah, all the Koopa kids are kind of lousy, to be honest. I wish I'd known that before. Um, I, just like, I just think Ludwig's cool, that's all. The, you the, scumbag! The, the, and, and again, so Gwen gets a whole intro at the start, and I don't mind that. I don't mind her having a lot of like screen time, but... Yeah, who, I mean, it's, it's, it's Spider-Verse, so uh, it's all of them, no, so but, that's, that's uh, cool. Well, but again, who's the protagonist of this movie? Well, as I, a, I sit there and go, is Miles not the protagonist of this movie? Sorry, is this not us following Miles along in the Spider-Verse adventure? Mm, and it's like, yeah. no, no, we're going to spend a good 40 minutes with Gwen just learning about her life and what happened to her. And you know, like, Is okay. it relevant? No, let's say that the, the mm. bit was Peter, Peter Parker. Um, we've already covered it. And the first movie gets that that isn't what's interesting. Yeah. What's happening now is what's interesting. We don't need big 40 minute, like, sorry, 20 minute flashbacks and then 20 minutes of establishing where Gwen's at just now. It's like, there's no need. Get to the good bit. Get to where we're at. Yeah, see, the th- my thing is, right, if they decided that Spider-Verse 2, they were going to make it so that Gwen was, like, kind of the main protagonist, just do that. I don't think anybody would have minded, but if they do that for the first 40 minutes and then they go, oh, yeah, by the way, Miles. Miles, Miles is the main character. This is what I'm saying about it. Just That screams of rewrites to yes. me. Yeah, that yeah, screams yeah. of... Was, uh, from what I'm hearing, it's more than rewrites, it's animation redoing. They said the big issue they had making this movie is that Phil Lord, one of the writers, didn't do enough in storyboard. He pretty much did everything in like full animation redos, which anyone who know animation uh, will know that is absolutely insane. Not just from how much money you spend, but from a time standpoint. Yeah. Like taking a full blown animation and going, I want to just change like everything about this. It's like, no, that's ridiculous. Whereas I, when you're I, in the storyboard stage, you kind of like yeah, like, it should have been changed long before you got as ah, far along as that. Oh my god! I hate that little uh, jump. You're fleshing out, you know, what the movie's going to look like, and apparently you just didn't do that. So right, okay, fine. So there was issues in writing. A lot of people quit, which they're trying to write off as oh well, that's that's what happens in this business. You know, we we often lose a hundred people on a single no, project. It really is <laughs> exactly. People do not quit easily in, in the film business yeah, right. not for this anyway yeah you do not walk away from enormous projects like that easily um, you, you do it when you're being mistreated or if the project's a shit show or what, what have you well, they, they've apparently delayed part 2 till I don't know 2027 or something mental but it's I it's It, it's really it's really hard because you feel like there's a good movie in here somewhere it's just like they just had to again like the original Spider-Verse just be very clear you can have a movie with a big ensemble cast uh-huh. but the, the trick they found is like have a consistent way of summarising why they're here right their backstory isn't what's important what's fun is seeing them all interact with each other yeah right we want to see more of that it's on my balls and again it, that should have just been continued in spite of us it's like okay we've got Miguel O'Hara now that's cool who's that what's interesting about him oh he's Spider-Man from the future oh yeah 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 the, uh, ginger guy don't think he's ginger is he not it's 2099 2099 no he's not oh, ginger he's, in this. he's ginger he's, um, he's, um, he's oh my god he's Oscar Isaac, I want to say, who, in, in many ways, could make his own multiverse because he's been in all these different movies. Um, I actually really, I'm really beginning to like him. I didn't like him as Paul Dameron in um, Star Wars. Uh, I, I, I liked him fine, but he never, you know, yeah, he, just, he never got to do anything really. Yeah. Well, actually, didn't he blow up the not Death Star? Yeah, thing? he blows up the not Death Star. Which has no sort of significance because it's not Luke doing it. Well, it has no significance because it didn't have the same setup. I mean, yeah. It just seems weak in my opinion. They're like, it's there and then they just get rid of it. Whereas the Death Star seemed scary. Yeah. And you can say, like, oh, well, it got taken out in its first appearance. Yeah, but I mean, that was the first movie, full stop. They didn't know if they were doing sequels. They knew they were doing a trilogy here and they were like, nah, we'll just blow it straight up and yeah, let's just not Star plan Killer anything. Base. Yep, exactly. But, um,. Uh, so M- Miguel O'Hara is the 
Aye. He's a character in it. I won't say what character he is in particular, but I don't get his motivation at all. And again, it's because the narrative is an absolute mess. It, and, 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 it's hampered, possibly, I haven't seen all the versions, but it's hampered by the fact that there are multiple versions in cinema. What is, how do you mean? They've released different versions of the movie. So... So you'll start noticing little scenes that weren't in other versions of the movie. And they've done that, oh, because it fits into this multiverse concept, and you're like... But... No, but it's, it's not multiverse. This is the big, the big movie's deal, is that it's Spider-Verse. This is what differentiates it from... Ah, oh, you whores. ...from, like, other movies, is it is the Spider-Verse. And they have this thing, and it's not really spoiling anything, they have this thing called canon events that just does my tits in. Right. You'll see all the memes cutting about, and you'll start to get the memes when you find out what a canon event is, but I fucking hate canon events. So it what, ruins what? the Spider-Verse concept and just shouldn't have what, been what introduced. It, what, what, what does it mean? Stuff that has to happen. Right. Basically. Ah, so stuff that is canon. Yes. But <laughs> this is this isn't like time travel. This is universes existing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the idea that you're breaking the timeline by people coming from a different universe on stuff needs to happen because it's a canon event. It's 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 becoming a meme right now where people are like people are using it to talk about like that Titanic sub. Uh-huh. You know, like oh, you know, Anything associated with the t Titanic has to, like, you know, basically sink in the ocean. And it's, it's again, it's just cuts to, like, Spider-Verse going, that's a canon event. You know, like, Peter Parker saves Gwen Stacy yeah. in, like, the original Spider-Man movie. But um, Miguel O'Hara comes, snaps her neck and goes, nah, canon yeah. event. It, it's, it's, that's, that's the idea the movie's kind of pushing. And, um... The canon kind of event. like the things that are inevitable and yes. the flash a lot. Yes, really. yeah, but it's uh, apparently it should happen to all Spider Men, and I uh, let's say it, it doesn't work, and it doesn't work for uh, for a number of reasons, um, and it, it it really hurts the story. You know, it it would have been easier to just really simplify the story in terms of. Why people are going where they're going? So why does Miles go where he goes? What what is Miguel's deal? Why you know what is Miguel's? Oh my God, what's Miguel's plan in all this? Who's the bad guy? I don't. I'm I'm not a fan of blooming um, alternate versions of the same characters. I despise that, especially in this movie. We don't need that. We've got a villain. We've got we've got an antagonist. But then we've got another guy who wants to be the antagonist too. And then we've also got different universe version of the same character who's another antagonist. So I, that's what I'm saying. This movie's a mess. It's like, it doesn't know who's doing what. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'll pull it all together in the second part, but I doubt it. The reason the first Spider-Verse is so good is because it's like so concise. It's like, what is Peter B. Parker's job? It's like, he's meant to be the mentor, but he's terrible. Uh -huh. It's like, he is terrible. That's his whole deal. That's why that, that relationship between him and Miles works. And it's like, what is Gwen? She's like, the love interest, but because you're building on further movies, it's like a first base kind of thing, you know? Uh -huh. Agrees to be friends. So it's emotional development for her. She didn't want to have friends. Yeah. Who's the only people she could be friends with? Spider-Man. That's cool. Yeah. That's a cool concept. And then you've got the other guys. You know, you had like um, Spider-Man Noir. He had his arc. He wants to figure out the Rubik's Cube and whatever mm -hmm. else. And um, the, re the rest are basically just comic relief and cool alternate versions. Yeah. And, um, and the new Spider-Verse, you've got that. You've got like, ah, you you'll see in the trailer, you have like a dinosaur Spider-Man, a cat Spider-Man, all these different versions of Spider-Man running out. But none of them really add anything. Mm -hmm. And let's say this part as well, because there's different versions of the same movie out in cinemas, I, I, without watching them all, there's apparently different things that mean different things that affect the story. And I'm like, it felt like there was bits missing from my story. So That's... I feel like the version I watched was a narrative mess. But maybe the right version's out there, but I'm like, that shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't be a version that's out here that makes no sense. That's an interesting idea, but you'd need to really 
If you watch a film, it should the film you're watching should make sense. I don't think all those the different versions will make more sense. I think it's more just like little scenes play out differently. Yeah. Is what I've read. Uh-huh. So it's things like um, a certain character is like, you know, got a guy in a headlock and he goes, "Look at my rippling biceps." And like in the other scene, like in the other version, you'll be like, "Choke cold." Yeah. It's like little differences apparently like that, but that- there, there is one scene that apparently is omitted. Mm-hmm. That I was like, that might help a wee bit. And again, I'm spoil yeah. spoiler avoiding to an extent. But hopefully, those of you who have seen it will kind of get which scenes I sort of mean. Um, but I, that's that's why it kind of sucks. It just it's all over the place. And all it needed to do is similar to Transformers, is just cut down. Who's who? Who's doing what in this movie? Who's yeah. the bad guy? Who's the main good guy? And just trim the fat around that. 